To get started with Laravel Livewire, we have a fresh installation of Laravel and specifically it's Laravel 7, but Laravel Livewire work with any version of Laravel. You just need to install it using this composer command. So let's just say composer require and using the power of video editing, let's complete it. So now the package is installed and you can see on our composer.json we are having this Laravel Livewire. Pretty cool. Next step is we need to include this styles and this scripts in your main blade file. And in the main blade file, that means on the resources, views, and here we have a welcome. So I will first show you that if I open the server, so php artisan serve localhost 8000, we have a cool, nice Laravel homepage, which is coming because of this blade. Let's clean up everything and create a new one. And I call it live wire. And we need to include this, where is that, this style like here and this script which should go uh, just above the closing of this body tag. Next we can create a simple counter component inside this Laravel live wire and we can simply create this by running this command and for now just say no. And this command has created one class, one view. And this class is inside my app HTTP LiveWire counter. So every class or you can say component of Laravel LiveWire is having this render function. Inside this render function, we are returning some view and this view is a component view. So it is LiveWire counter. Let's open LiveWire counter, which is inside resources, views, live wire counter and it just say nothing so i can simply say i am counter component and next we need to use this component in our blade file which is welcome.blade file so counter.blade.php is a live wire component and to include any component in our main page which is actually returning we can simply say live wire and then counter like this so now if i go refresh this page you can see we have this i am counter component that's amazing and now let's do something crazy <laughs> yeah this should be crazy so i can say button and button is having a plus sign and this button is having a minus sign so let's go and yeah we have plus and minus then we have to give here like uh, h1 tag and inside I will say just one so this should be like here so one and plus minus one and let's just style this to make it text align center to make this at the center and we have everything at the center now zoom it for you what I need when I click here I should increment this and when I click on the minus I should decrement it but how we can do this on PHP? This is very difficult task because every time we need to create a form that should increment it and decrement it and we need to hold the number somewhere. But because we are on Laravel live wire, everything is easy with the use of this wire click event. On this wire click event is going to trigger a increment function and this function we will create inside our component class and this is a php class and it is interesting that we are binding the click event the javascript part from our php class okay so let's create a function called increment and here i will simply say die dump of anything to show you that when we click here, it's now triggering this function. Now refresh this page and click and you can see we have some error and it's not actually error, it's a die dump and this is actually the 
Larval live wire way of showing you the diadem thing. <laughs> yeah, so we have this and you can see which means it is triggering some function on our Laravel. So we are connecting JavaScript with Laravel in just few seconds without writing a single word of JavaScript. That's cool. This means what we can do next. We can do the same thing for this button. But this time this should be decrement and let's create a one more function called decrement and that's good and we know that will also going to trigger okay so next we need some data here and that means the variable so what you think that let's create a public count is equal to one and because this is a simple view and remember in a view we can simply pass any variable just like this so dollar this arrow count okay so that should be available here and now i can use this blade way of showing or echoing any variable now refresh and yeah this is one and if i change this to three you can see it is three now what i need actually it should be automatically available i don't have to pass it and this is again the power of laravel live wire any variable defined publicly is available in that particular uh, blade file of that component so this component is returning this blade file which is the counter dot blade and any variable defined publicly is available here so you can see now we are not passing any variable to this view which is a component called counter still it's going to work now let's create the real magic we need to click and we will increment it so that's very easy because here in this we are on the php and we have access to this dot count and we can simply say this should be equal to this dot this arrow count plus one or let's use the shorthand plus plus and this means it should work so plus yeah you can see it is working and let's go on this and say minus minus and it should decrement yeah it is decrementing it is incrementing whoa we have done a first level live wire thing but how this is going to work, let's deep dive into the Laravel Livewire. 